Oh man, man, do I ever have a deal? A deal and a half for you guys. A deal and a half. You guys have no idea what I'm gonna offer you here. This is a new town, semi, with only an outdoor toilet. So this is a house I'm telling you. It's a semi with only an outdoor toilet. So there's no indoor, there's no indoor toilet. And needing big repairs set for huge buyer interest. So down, let's look at today's article. Well, it's that's yesterday's article from Australia. This is so good. This is so good. Here it is, guys. In black and white right there. Articles by Matt Bell for the Inner Inner West Courier. Here it is, guys. Oh, it's so good. Such a good opportunity here. I just, I could feel it in me. You know when you get that feeling and you start getting this rosacea in your face. Look at that. Oh, my God. Okay, let's, let's look. Let's calm ourselves down here. It's got holes in the roof and the kitchen wall and gaping crack, but... That's not enough to keep the buyers away from this new town civic! Oh my god. Located in 25 Pine Streets, the property is also being described as virtually uninhabitable. With it lacking creature comforts like an internal toilet. Hey, toilet toilets are overrated, guys. You don't need a toilet in your house. I mean, what are they trying to say? It's good. This is good. Okay? All you have to do is wash it, maybe do a little paint here and there. You got yourself a nice place. Despite needing a little bit of TLC, TLC stands for uh, Tender Love and Care, or that's probably a music group. Anyways, the home is still is still lived in and has been used under some ownership for 43 years. All right, five dumps that are worth millions. Let's see if this thing plays. Oh, it's got music. Sold, five dumps worth millions. Street Vic. What the hell is that? It's sold for what? Number two, Nearman, New South Wales. That's really nice. Oh my god, it's got a window. Oh my god, it's got a backyard. Well, it doesn't have a yard. Richmond, Victoria. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Shag and rug. Shag and rug. Oh, it's got a window. And it's got a fridge. And it's got grass. And it sold for one. That sold for one point six million dollars. Look here. Let's counter that right now. Let let us counter that right now as we speak. Let us counter that right now as we speak. There we go. There's my counter. One ninety four. Five bedrooms. Four baths. That's in uh, Locust Grove, Georgia. That's outside of Atlanta. There you go. Five beds. Four baths. Twenty six hundred square feet. The house was built three years ago. Let's see if it has a pool. Oh, look at that land. Holy crap, it's an estate. Holy crap, I didn't even notice that that was an estate. Oh my goodness. That's an estate. Oh my, wow. 194, American. That's like 256,000 Australian dollars. So let's go back to this, this beautiful video here. Such a beautiful video to watch. Albert Park Vic. Holy crap, it's got a window and a ceiling. It's got something from the ceiling. Oh, it's got purple cabinets. And it's got a window and a door. And and more New South Wales. This thing's like the home has been waiting for a fresh. Oh, this is nice. 1.255 million. Wow, these are really nice homes. CoreLogic records show that the home cost the owner $19,500 in 1976. With that purchase price requiring only 20% of the deposit of $3,900, compared to $262,000 required for Newton's current medium price of $1.13 million bucks! $1.31 million bucks! Holy smokes for that one! Look at that beautiful ceiling! Oh, man, I'm not making fun of the guys. You know, the guy's been in there for a long time, and he's made his, you know, and it's good for him. He, hey, he can get $1.3 for that, and he put 19 large down, or 30 large, or 40 large. Hey, man, all the power to him. I'm happy for him. It's, realistically, is it worth that much? That's the thing. TJ Hooker, Newton Agents. Tell the semi-auctioner in November 23rd, with no formal price guide in place, 
I'm under strict instructions that the home has to sell at auction no matter what price we get on the day, he said. We first inspection be uh, held Saturday. Uh, exceptions, it will uh, appeal to the experienced buyers who are probably investors or builders. There is a lot of work required. A lot of work. This is nice. You just a little bit of paint and, and that crack up here. That crack up here. See that crack up here? That's that's when the tooth fairy came. Didn't fit through the window, so it kind of cracked the ceiling right there. And there's all oh, the backyard. Buddy expects that the, whoever buys the home will probably look to either knock it down, knock down the home, or va or vastly remodel it. There is a possibility to go up into the roof and add a secondary story if the buyer wanted to explore that option. We well, yeah, have secondary story. Secondary story. <laughs> secondary story. All right, man. Let's let's look at this secondary story. All right, here it is, guys. One point three mil. One point three mil. All right, let's do let's do some digging around. So we're going all over America today because that's a, that's a huge ripoff. So I'm gonna keep it at two hundred eleven thousand to two seventy five five plus bathroom five plus bedrooms. Okay, make it fair. Make it comparable to that house. This one we saw here. This this is this one we saw here in Georgia. This is an estate, dude. Dudes, dudettes, sorry. Look, that's an estate. And you're not far from Atlanta, too. I mean, you're not far from Macon. You're not far from... You could you could get things done. You could run a nice home-based business out of this with $600 a month uh, monthly down payment, a monthly payment with zero down. That's not bad. And for people saying, oh, Mac, you know, it's American Dollar. Well, you live in, if you live there, you you make money that, that they pay you in there to live there. And if you go there with a skill or something, and you, and you can't make $600 to pay that mortgage, there's something wrong. There's seriously something wrong with you, not the house. All right, let's keep going here. Let's go keep going here. Let me see if I can find something nice here for you guys. This one's really nice. This is in Crowley, Texas. Crowley, Texas is growing right now for young families. This one is five bedroom, four baths, 191500 And that's just a fraction of what you're paying for that house in for the... For never ending story! Right there. Add another story! Here it is. Oh. I think if you spent this much money, American... And this, I don't think you could even fix it for that much money. You need more money. I think you need three, four hundred grand to fix that property. Never. Oh, look at this. It's not purple, though. That's the problem. It's not purple cabinets there. There's so many bedrooms. It's just, look, I want to see the land. Look at that. Look at the back of the house. All fenced off, ready to go. Wow. All right, let's go back. Let's find something in another state. Let's go to... Oh, this is uh, uh, Jones, uh, Jonesboro, uh, Georgia. That's a nice area, too. That's in Georgeboro. 189,900! Let's see what kind of land this baby has. Oh, it doesn't have it. Just, it's just... It's just uh, that, that's it. But people say, Hey, Mike, that's going to go to auction still. That could go up to a million bucks. This has been... I think this has been on, on here for like 150 days. Um... I think this one's been been here for look look at the price right there. It's dropping. So tax history. So ba -ba 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 -ba. property taxes nineteen hundred a year. There's probably a lot of schools in the area. I'm just guessing guys why. Just add another story. All right, let's go here. All right, let's keep going here. Something, something kind of ah, there's a little cute home, a little starter home for a family. This is from this is in San Antonio, Texas. Again, another up and well, San Antonio has always been up and coming. It's always been one ninety nine, five bedrooms, three baths. Let's see if she has a pool. Oh, I love that that uh, Portuguese architecture, the rounded, the roundedness. It's an older home, but that's real wood, by the way. That's not Walmart stuff. That's that's actually real wood. Oops, somebody's trying to call me here. Uh, no one's trying to call me. Backyard, no pool, though. But it's got a lot of yard, though. It's got a lot of yard. I like this one. All right, let's keep going. 
cha cha. Oh, looks like the Ferris Bueller's Day House. Oh, this this is in Mariana, Florida. This is a decent area for retirement. Look at that house. All that and all that right there. They built a new wing on the house, and it's selling for one forty nine. Five bad news for buys in Mariana, Florida. Or you could buy this for one forty nine. That's about two hundred and ten thousand Australian. And let's, let's let's just look at the land first. I just want to see. It's quite a bit. There's a drive through area. The house is not completed. But still, for that price, that's real wood floor. So I would just sand them and paint them. I would repaint that brick from the green. Up, you know, finish off with all the odds and ends, right? I would rather... Oh, yeah, it's got land. It's got land. It's got lots of land. It's got two air conditioners because it's actually such a big house. So 149 spend, I don't know, labor and materials cheap down in the U.S., 50000 to finish this. Or spend... Friggin' 500000 to finish this. Just add another story. There we go. So let's keep going here. See if we can find something in another state. Ah, here we go. Strawberry Plains, Tennessee. An older an older uh, Victorian-style older home with the kind of wraparound porchy porch there. Oh, it's got that back area, too. And it's got that wrap over here on that side there, too. And it's your old style home. It is 125, five bedrooms. It's went down five thousand dollars. Yeah, Mike, this guy got an auction. Yeah, why did it go down five thousand bucks? It's been on on the market. So with three hundred and ten dollars a month, you could have. Oh, and it's got a little side home too for like parties. Oh, it's got another house. So it's got several properties. It actually has several properties on the property. Okay, okay, it's a big property. What they had, I think at one point, what it what it was. It looks like it was. Yeah, there it is, right there and right there. So, so this is it, guys. This is important. This is important because this actually comes with several properties and a three-car garage separate from the building. Man, you could have like people live. You could have people live like rent-free here, as long as they contribute to the chores of the house, create some sort of a co-op. Where they got to do their work at the house and then they're done type of thing. They don't have to it'll be a nice thing because your mortgage payment's going to be, this is 610 on a 10 year amortization. So you pay it off in 10 years. So maybe like, like for example, like doing like something like a, a five year and raising it to a thousand bucks. All right. Because you pay down the interest faster, right? When you make double payments. All right. Let's close this down. Let's keep moving on. Oh, there's one in Orlando. That's a really nice home. Let's see if she has a pool. It's obviously abandoned. Yeah. But it's a fixer-upper. But you know what? If somebody has to straggle their way through to get by, 125. And they're not throwing themselves in a heap of debt. They could have a house. As long as they work, they could get their, their poop sorted out. Mm, let's see what else we got here. Ooh, there's one in South Carolina. Look at that beautiful house. It's all one house. Wow, it's huge. Five bedrooms, four baths. It's posted 142 days ago. And yeah, it's going to need flooring. It's going to need a pile of crap to fix this house. But still, look at this. It's got those gable roofs. Well, it's a nice secluded area. 57 grand. Guys, you got to prepare $110 a month. That includes property tax for that place. So even if you're selling, like, underwear online or something, I think you can make that $110 a month to pay for your overhead. I'm just kind of throwing that out there, you know, just kind of making ideas and stuff. Or add another story. Ah, okay, let's see what else we got here. If you like, that, you don't like that kind of living, let's find something a little bit more. Ooh, Knoxville, Tennessee. A little old house, six bedrooms, three bath, ninety-eight thousand bucks. Hardwood floor. That's real hardwood too. It's you could tell it's been redone. You don't do you don't redo laminate with laminate. You do redo laminate with laminate. You don't redo this flooring, and sand and repaint it. You could tell. Yeah, that's real wood for sure. Yeah, 98 grand. It's going to cost you about 486 a month. Yeah, some of them are on a 12 and 15 and 10 year AMs, so I'm not too sure. Or 
Ooh, you could buy this thing. It looks like a castle. 184 grand, 900 bucks, five bedroom, five by three, and 500 square feet. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a private entrance. Well, it's got hookups to meter. You can see the meter in the back for the hydro and the gas. So something like this would be great, like to get you, just to get you started, especially if you run a home-based business or you do, like people mail you in repair. People, do you know what a lot of people have been doing lately from home that are skilled? They mail in their repair that needs to be done. You fix it from a place like this where you have all this space in the world to set up shop or no one's going to bug you, then go to town once a week and make your deliveries. Someone sends you in a repair you could fix, for example. Do whatever you have to do and then send it back. I think that's fantastic. Mm. Oh, wow. This one's this is in Alice, Texas. It looks like the White House. This is phenomenal. It's probably a fixer-upper. 149, five-bedroom, 8,566 square feet. Oh, man, this thing's huge. Gone with the wind, buddy, right there. Yeah, it needs work, obviously, the paints, but it's got palm trees around it. It's got a huge yard. Oh, it's got a pool. I can see the pool. It's got a pool right there. And that's seven seventy eight a month. That's on a, you, can, you could stretch the AM out if you're if you're kind of broke. If you could put down, like, say, say 10000 down, stretch the AM out, you could get the payment down to under 500 a month, and you have your own house. And property taxes on this is, like, $890 a year. So you could sell maybe, like, like undershirts or maybe even make socks from home and sell them. Maybe if you do embroider and you can embroider stuff and sell it. There's a lot of things you could do now with the power of uh, online sales and stuff. But it's either this or at another story. So there you go, guys. I covered a few different states across the country. There's quite a bit of quite a bit here to look at. I mean, I, we could be here for hours. There's 166 166,000 listings for that price to that many bedrooms. We could be here for months looking at every single house. Here's another one here. There's so many of them. <sighs> That's in Tennessee, Manchester. Let me know what you guys think. Are you going to add another story? And buy that thing for $1.3 million? Or are you going to buy something for like hundred and fifty grand and actually start building wealth and start putting money aside for your future? Let me know. Comment below. And thanks for watching. And don't forget to share this video if you kind of want to support the transmission. You can hit me up on Patreon. Donate $1 a month for my coffee. If you want to buy me coffee, support me on Patreon. One buck a month. Thanks for watching. God bless America.